So, there will be times when we need to buy things and these will be things hopefully that we have needed for quite a while and will actually add value to our lives. Once we've decided that we need it and we're happy to make the purchase, we then need to start actually doing some work into investigating where to buy it and which one to buy. So the thing that we need to realize is that marketing and advertising is incredibly clever done by very, very smart people who are very good at knowing exactly how to take advantage of people and what their weaknesses are and how they can be exploited. I make them sound like horrific people. I don't mean that at all. I, I mean intelligent people. They, I think that advertising and marketing is an art form and needs to be respected. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be trying to look at adverts with a very analytical view. So rather than just being passive in the process and just you know, letting ourselves be influenced, we're gonna be engaged and we're gonna be active and we're gonna be looking at them and thinking, what part of me are they trying to exploit in order to make me buy from them? Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Miss Selfish website and one of my biggest pet peeves and that is the seasonal wardrobe. So I completely understand that Winter is cold, summer is hot, That that's fine, I get that. I get that we need to dress differently for hot weather than we would for cold weather. That's fine, I accept all this, this is, this is fine. But we do not need a new outfit or new wardrobe every single time a new season rolls around. Nobody gets to winter and goes, no one told me it was gonna be cold. It, ne it never comes as a surprise to anyone. It was winter last year and the year before that there was another winter. You lay it up, you put on a jumper, you put on a scarf and you made it through the cold months. There's this idea that we need to greet a holiday or a season with new possessions, with new purchases. But tomorrow is always just tomorrow. There is no fresh start tied in with making a new purchase. I'm all for fresh starts and I'm all for new beginnings and all that kind of thing, but they don't come from buying things. The Miss Selfish website is also trying to play upon this idea that if you get a new outfit, then you'll go out with your friends and you'll have an amazing night and you'll take amazing photographs and all the memories will have left to be shared. It's trying to tie together in your mind that a new outfit and an amazing social life are somehow intertwined, but they are not. They are completely different. You can have that amazing social life with the clothes that you already have. Here's another and uh, slightly more bizarre example of those things. Jeans season. Here we have lots of friends all wearing jeans because it's jeans season. Speaking of uh, weird seasons, I hope you've all got your cinema season outfits ready. It's very important to have your look sorted for, you know, sitting in a dark room and staring at a screen. Watch out for words like basics and essentials because these imply that you are somehow behind if you don't have them. This IKEA advert exploits it particularly well because going to university is quite a daunting experience and it can be comforting to try and prepare for it in some way. IKEA, of course, suggests that you should do this by buying things from them. And again, if you do that, then you will have a better social life like the lovely people in this photo. Similarly, watch out for this idea of back to school because we've been taught to intertwine in our minds this idea of fresh beginnings and new starts and new purchases, when this is not necessary at all. Granted, sometimes things will be too small or broken and they will need to be replaced. But this idea that new starts need new purchases is a complete myth. This advert here seems to be implying that uh, clothes determine how well you do at school, and that's good, isn't it? This form of advertising exploits people's concern or fear that they won't be ready in time. It puts a deadline on it saying, when you go back to school, you need to have these things, or when you go to university, you need to have these things. It's the same with the summer wardrobe or the winter wardrobe or autumn wardrobe. When autumn begins, if you are not prepared and you do not have your autumn wardrobe ready, then you know, what kind of autumn are you gonna have? It's this kind of thing. It, it puts a deadline on it. You need to be prepared for when this starts. And lastly, watch out for sales because sales can be amazing if there's something you need and you are able to find it at a discounted price. That's great. But then there's this thrill of the chase aspect as well because sales imply scarcity and opportunity and competition. This can make shopping really exciting because we're trying to get the best deal we can and spend the least money but get the best thing. And it really, it's almost like hunting in a lot of ways. It's sort of, it's, it's going out and trying to, to bring home the best thing that you can with for as little amount of resources. Remember that you will save a lot more money if you don't buy anything at all. So my top tip would be whenever you are watching an advert or you know on a 
on a shop's website, looking at a shop storefront or if you're in a store, be very analytical and try and think about how the company is trying to exploit you. It's usually fear of some sort, it's fear of missing out, fear of not fitting in, fear of not being ready in time. They're trying to make you feel these, it's, a, it's almost like a panic, it's, they're trying to panic you into purchasing things. Try and have your wits about you and, and go into these places, put yourself in a situation if you need to buy something. But just, just look for how they're actually trying to exploit you and you'll find that this, these techniques will be a lot less effective on you. If you are into minimalism videos, please feel free to subscribe and introduce yourself below because I've been chatting to a few of you and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's so lovely to meet you. And uh, please feel free to follow me on my social media as well. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.